Neither adults nor kids want to eat these mooncakes, so he gave them to the dogs to see if they would eat them. As soon as the dogs saw the mooncakes, they rushed over, but after sniffing them, they didn't open their mouths. I don't know what's in these mooncakes, but after the dogs sniffed them, they just walked away without taking a single bite. Dogs are usually drawn to meat and natural foods, but in the video, this group of dogs refuses to eat the mooncakes. Mooncakes are traditional Chinese pastries, typically eaten during the mid-autumn festival. This suggests that there may really be a problem with these mooncakes. Many commentators reacted to this, saying things like, I haven't bought a single mooncake this mid-autumn festival. If even dogs won't eat the mooncakes, why are they still being made? Chinese made mooncakes that even dogs reject. A dog's nose is sharp. Dogs can smell poison. Everyone's saying that this year's mooncakes are inedible because of all the additives. Today, we're going to test it out on dogs. These are mooncakes I bought just yesterday for the mid-autumn festival from a supermarket. Here we have frozen meat. We will test them together to see if the dogs eat it. Look, they don't eat it. Now here's a frozen meat. See, just as I expected, the dogs won't eat the mooncakes. Honestly, it breaks my heart. In China, mooncakes are a traditional treat for the mid-autumn festival. But this year, they've been labeled as trash that even dogs won't touch, leaving many people shocked. In another video posted on September 17th, a family of three was relaxing at home. The young parents were focused on their phones and their child, just a few years old, was quietly watching cartoons on TV. Suddenly, a loud bang came from the coffee table. The parents were startled and the child burst out crying. The mother quickly picked up the child while the father walked over to see what had happened. It turned out that a mooncake had exploded. The whole thing was caught on the home security camera. This footage sparked a lot of discussion online. Some people joked, remote controlled mooncakes? Others speculated, this must be an old expired mooncake. It's all bloated. I ate one during the holiday and had heartburn all night. I swear I'll never eat mooncakes again. Some also said, I haven't eaten mooncakes in years. Just looking at the ingredients list gives me the chills. Another person quipped, Life's getting tough, pagers explode, and now even mooncakes have a temper. On the internet, there are many more similar cases. People are talking about sodium dehydroacetate, a preservative found in mooncakes. This chemical is used to prevent yeast, mold, and bacteria. It's been widely used in China's food industry for a long time because it's cheap and effective. It prevents mold without affecting the taste, so it's often added to cream, bread, cakes, pastries, yolk pies, fermented tofu, pickles, and mooncakes. One commentator shared that after some mooncake crumbles fell on the ground, ants ate them and then an entire colony of them died. This suggests that the ants were too small to handle the toxic substances in the mooncakes. Further investigations showed that sodium dehydroacetate was the cause. Although the ants ate only a small amount, it was enough to kill them. Others conducted similar tests by feeding mooncakes to ants, which also made them die. These findings point to high levels of sodium dehydroacetate, which can easily poison ants. According to media reports outside of China, a resident in Chongqing discovered that two mooncakes she had kept for three years showed no signs of mold. The packaging clearly stated that the mooncakes contained two preservatives, potassium sorbate and sodium dehydroacetate. The mooncake manufacturer admitted to using preservatives but claimed the levels were within safe limits. They also said they didn't know why the mooncakes hadn't spoiled in three years. Studies have shown that long-term use of sodium dehydroacetate can harm the liver, kidneys, and central nervous system. It can cause symptoms like reduced liver and kidney function, seizures, tremors, and loss of coordination. It may also lead to weight loss and chronic lung issues. Despite its widespread use in China's food industry for over 20 years, China's National Health Commission issued new regulations earlier this year. Starting on February 8, 2025, sodium dehydroacetate and its salts will be banned in starch products, bread, pastries, and fillings for baking goods. In August, South Korea's Ministry of Food and Drug Safety issued three emergency recall orders. They found sodium dehydroacetate which is banned in South Korea in Chinese mooncakes. The mooncakes came from Shenyang Dangshangkun Food Industry Company, a well-known brand in China. However, these mooncakes were labeled as unfit for consumption in South Korea and had to be returned to China or destroyed locally. In recent years, fake mooncake scandals have also been on the rise. 
Recently, the Hong Kong Mei Cheng Mooncakes controversy caught public attention. Reports said that Chinese e-commerce influencer Crazy Young Brother claimed during a live stream, "Mei Cheng Mooncakes are a high-end Hong Kong brand. Over a million units have been sold. They also have black truffle filling. Each one is handcrafted by Michelin chefs. You can only buy them by queuing in Hong Kong with 238 yuan per box. That is around 34 U.S. dollars." Many consumers believe these mooncakes were the same quality as the well-known Maxims mooncakes from Hong Kong. To consumers, Crazy Young Brothers low price seemed like a good deal, thanks to its access to big seller supply chains. Maxims mooncakes cost between 238 and 322 yuan per box, depending on the variety. Meanwhile, Mei Cheng mooncakes were sold for just 99 yuan for three boxes, or 169 yuan for three boxes. With such a low price. Many people have opted for Mei Cheng mooncakes. Crazy Young Brother promoted these mooncakes in three separate live streams. In the last 30 days, sales of this brand on Douyin surpassed 50 million yuan. However, consumers later discovered that the mooncakes weren't actually made in Hong Kong. Some found the same product priced at only 59 yuan for three boxes on other e-commerce platforms. Once people realized the truth, they became outraged. The Mei Cheng mooncake scandal quickly became a hot topic. As the controversy grew, people began questioning the origin and quality of Mei Cheng mooncakes. Investigations showed that the brand, which claimed to be from Hong Kong, was actually operated by Guangzhou Mei Cheng Food Company, based in Guangdong Province. Although the company is registered in Hong Kong, multiple agents told Chinese media that it doesn't have any physical stores there. Its production facilities are mainly located in Guangzhou and Foshan cities. A PR representative from Hefei Three Goats Network Technology, the company that sold Mei Cheng Mooncakes, told Chinese media that Mei Cheng is registered in Hong Kong and was founded in 2019. While the research and development happen in Hong Kong, the production takes place in Guangdong. Former Beijing lawyer and chair of the Federation for a Democratic China in Canada, Lai Jianping, believes the CCP has never truly cared about the lives and health of its citizens. In an interview with overseas media on September 19. He pointed out that the food scandals in China in the past, like toxic milk powder and Sudan red dye, caused widespread harm. Yet the CCP has consistently failed to address this issue of toxic food. He believes that the CCP's regulations are just superficial measures meant to deceive the public. He further argued that if the CCP genuinely cared about public health, it would solve these problems. But their inaction shows their disregard for citizens' health. He said. For the CCP, protecting the regime is always the top priority. That's the real motivation. Besides food safety, some people think fewer mooncakes were sold during this year's Mid-Autumn Festival because of China's economic downturn. Rising unemployment has left many people with less money. A report from Jianmian News on September 17th noted that enthusiasm for mooncakes is waning. Data from Winwin Network, a retail monitoring agency. Show that sales of mooncakes at physical stores in the lead up to the 2024 Mid Autumn Festival, which was during August 14th to September 13th, dropped by nearly half compared to last year. Revenue was down by 45 percent, while the number of units sold dropped by 41 percent. Sales of mooncake gift boxes fell even further, down by 49 percent. On the business side, where companies and merchants are key buyers, mooncakes are often purchased as gifts. Large companies, hotels, and distributors typically buy them to give to employees, clients, and partners. Financial reports show that group buying, including mooncakes and zongzi, make up about 40% of sales. However, the tough economic climate has hurt the performance of many companies. As a result, some have cut back on festival gift budgets, leading to fewer mooncake orders. The report also mentioned that consumer preferences are shifting. Many people are now choosing healthier, more affordable options. The Consumption and Industrial Development Research Institute conducted a mid-autumn consumption survey, in which they found that 40% of consumers now pay more attention to healthier, low-sugar mooncakes. This decline in demand has affected suppliers as well. According to Time Weekly, a sales manager at a mooncake factory in Guangzhou said that due to a lack of orders, some factories are operating on a three days on. One day off schedule. Meanwhile, some hotels have lowered their sales targets for mooncake gift boxes ahead of the Mid-Autumn Festival. Another report suggested that 2024 might be the worst Mid-Autumn Festival in history, with millions of people choosing not to buy mooncakes 
or liquor this year. More than 4,000 mooncake companies have gone out of business in just four years. Data from Chi Cha Cha shows that from 2020 to 2024, the number of active mooncake related companies dropped from 23,000 to 18,900. The mooncake companies still hanging on aren't doing well either. Mooncakes priced over 500 yuan have almost disappeared this year, and some 20 yuan gift boxes even come with a bottle of wine. Even big brands are struggling. According to Times Weekly, Maxim's Mooncakes, which usually only offer discounts two or three days before the festival, are already being sold at a 10% discount this year. Not only that, well-known brands like Guangzhou Restaurant, Wingwa, and Kam Ki have launched earlier-than-usual promotions, offering 10% to 20% off. In the past, high-end hotel mooncakes were a face-saving gift for people wanting to maintain relationships. But now, with a weak economy and declining gifting customs, even these once-coveted mooncakes are losing their appeal. Red Star Capital Bureau reported that a five-star hotel in Hanzhou set a 800,000 yuan sales target for mooncakes last year. This year, that target dropped to 150,000 yuan, a massive 80% cut. In previous years, star-related hotels sold mooncakes in huge numbers. A morning tea service could sell hundreds of boxes. Now it has been reduced to only 10 boxes. Some hotels are even pushing sales by making their employees buy mooncakes. What should be a happy mid-autumn festival has turned into a mid-autumn disaster for many hotel workers. It's not just the mooncake market that's collapsing. The market for baiju, often given as gifts with mooncakes, is also struggling. Mid-autumn festival is one of the top days for baiju consumption in China, second only to Lunar New Year. However, earlier this year, Zhang Chang, a senior official from the Sichuan Alcohol Circulation Association, predicted that baiju sales during mid-autumn festival would drop by 20 to 30 percent. Many liquor sellers have confirmed this. They've told the media that sales this year are clearly down compared to past years. Some report that sales have dropped to one-third or half of last year's levels. It's not just mooncakes that are being counterfeited. Food fraud in China has also been on the rise in recent years. Last September, a video blogger revealed that large quantities of artificially salted egg yolks were being sold in the market. These yolks contain chemical additives and were sold at very low prices. A machine can produce 100,000 yolks an hour. Would you still eat them? The blogger asked. In the video, a machine is shown making salted egg yolks. A yellow gel-like substance is squeezed in a long strip, which is then cut into round yolks. These fake yolks sell for just 9.9 .9 yuan for 20 pieces. It's not just salted egg yolks. Entire fake eggs can also be mass-produced. I threw out all the eggs inside, and there were still five or six left. Fake eggs just look like real ones, right? Look at this, it's an egg. But after boiling them, I realized the texture is like an egg, but there's no yolk inside. I thought, okay, one with no yolk is fine, but how come none of them have yolks? So I fed them to the dog. Look, hey, does the dog eat the eggs? No, he doesn't. People can't tell the difference, but look, the dog won't eat it. But here, this egg I bought from the supermarket. Look, the dog eats it. You see that? The dog definitely eats it. People can't tell fake from the real, but dogs can. You know, people in China these days, you say they're not creative. Look, this one has yolk. You see? The dog ate it. He ate both the egg white and the yolk. You see that? Dogs don't lie, you know. They can make eggs now, but none of them have yolks and taste the same. This is what's happening in China. Nobody else in the world does this. Chinese people are fooling themselves, scamming their own people. You could talk badly about America or whatever, but you're not even treating yourselves like humans. Even dogs won't eat fake eggs, yet they've caused serious harm to consumers. This is the reality of the Chinese Communist Party's system. According to Chinese media, residents in Yuxi, Yunnan province found plastic particles in their rice. The rice looked whiter and had sharper edges than normal rice. When heated, it would melt completely. Local market regulators seized 13 bags of suspected fake rice and found 18.2 grams of PET plastic particles. Officials claim this contamination was accidental, likely caused by mishandling during transportation. But many commentators are skeptical. They point out that rumors of plastic rice have been around for a long time. In 2011, Chinese media reported that residents in Nanjing, Jiangsu province, 
discovered rice grains floating to the surface of water when washing rice. Tests afterwards confirmed the presence of plastic rice. By 2015, reports surfaced that plastic rice from China had made its way into Southeast Asian markets, including Indonesia, India and Singapore, and even reached Nigeria in West Africa. A Chinese-Canadian writer, Sheng Shui, said that food safety issues in China have been rampant for decades. Almost no food in China can be considered safe, and the Chinese Communist Party has done little to fix these problems. Recently, a photo of specially supplied mooncakes for high-ranking CCP officials spread on social media, drawing widespread attention. The photo shows a package labeled Great Hall of the People's Handmade Mooncakes, with a shelf life of 40 days when sealed. The package also advised that the mooncakes should be eaten quickly after opening. The ingredients listed on the package include wheat flour, sugar, melon seeds, black sesame, maltose, and vegetable oil. There were no additives or preservatives listed. A note on the package clearly states that these mooncakes are custom made for the internal CCP use and are not for sale in the supermarkets or traditional markets. Sheng Shui remarked that the CCP special supply system is unique. It applies not only to mooncakes, but to nearly all goods. She said that CCP officials and elites are completely shielded from toxic food. This is why food safety problems in China remain unsolved. The CCP elite never have to deal with these issues, so the government has no incentive to fix them. In the end, it's the general public who suffer.